received the Benjamin A. Gilman scholarship, scholarship and I also received a English scholarship along with study abroad ambassador grant to travel and study abroad. So the purpose of my awards were to study abroad. I chose to go to Ghana in Africa, so I went to Cape Coast, Ghana for the literature of the slave trade study abroad tour for 28 days, which is a full month, and that was my first time. So the application process for the Gilman Scholarship was very challenging for me. Um, on top of classes, on top of work, it was very stressful because I chose to go and apply for the application very late. So I applied in February and the application was due like early March. So it was very stressful. I had my friend who went on the trip to Ghana with me. She was my support system. I also had the Patent Office International Center behind me all the way. My mother and my brother and my grandmother and my whole family was very supportive for me even though my mother was super scared that I decided on my own to go and stay abroad. Um, my motivation was to be able to go outside of the country, to be able to see a different place, um, experience a different culture, meet different people, and just enjoy the atmosphere as well. The program offered me to learn more about my history and the African um, American North transatlantic slave trade, so that was very, very interesting for me to learn more about history, meet new people, get different perspectives from the other students that were on the trip, so that was pretty cool. Okay, so while studying abroad, I was super scared, I was super nervous, I've never flown, so it was my first time flying. So my friends that um, came with me on the, on the trip, we sat on the plane and we held hands because I was super nervous and I almost cried, but it was okay after the first flight. Uh, once we got to uh, Accra uh, in Ghana, which is the capital, once we got there, um, it just felt like home. It felt like I was just in a different atmosphere. I had no worries. You know, I didn't have to fear for anything. So it was really cool to get that atmosphere and that experience once I stepped off the plane. Um, and then our professor took us to different museums and different exhibits, so we got to meet Ghanaian people. Uh, most of them were men, but the women were out working all the time, you know. They were taking care of the children, the children were working. Um, we were able to go and um, see the door of no return. And for me, going to the first slave castle was kind of hard because the first thing I saw was um, the sign that said male slave dungeon and it, it just made me think of how painful it was for my ancestors, all of our ancestors, to go to um, these problems and constantly have to fight to get us to where we are now and that was just um, breathtaking and, and it, it, it kind of grounded me to actually reflect and look back on history and push forward and have a different perspective, have an open mind and kind of engage in the community and the culture that I was offered while studying abroad. Um, I was also able to learn from my white peers of how they felt about traveling, seeing the slave castles, learning more about black history, understanding that if their ancestors took part in the slave trade that, you know, it wasn't on them. Like, they wasn't the person who did that and they can make a change. So it's very inspirational, very meaningful for me to take this trip and study abroad and even living with my roommate in our smallest chalet. Um, we got to know each other, we got to grow, we got to build that foundation of friendship, long lasting friendship and we were able to continue and move forward. So if we had any issues, if we had any problems, if she didn't feel you know, um, great about a response, we could talk about it, we could have that dialogue and that communication. So those experiences were great for me. from applying for scholarships and awards and grants that you must do them early. <laughs> like, don't wait. Um, I learned that with the Benjamin A. Gilman Scholarship that if you apply early, you can meet the early deadline. You can also be able to um, get that award and make sure that you can plan ahead. Um, it taught me that if there are people around that can help you work on the scholarship, 
get it grounded, submit it as best as you can, and that these awards are very important if you are a low income student attending any university and that you can travel abroad. So never be afraid to go ahead and apply for those scholarships, ask for help, continue to work on them, and continue to experience those moments of defeat if you don't get those scholarships. Just continue to keep pushing and reach for your goals. So when applying for scholarships, my advice is to always, always, always ask for help. To review, to make sure whether you're qualified for the scholarships, not qualified, that you find people that can help you look for the right scholarships. You try to look for the right scholarships. Make sure that you are able to go and ask your friends, ask your coworkers, ask your mother or brother, whichever, you know, whoever is around that's helping you that's positive in your circle, your professors, to go ahead and help you with those scholarships. I know it's tough and I know it's a struggle. However, when you have people in your corner that is there to help you with those scholarships, it benefits you as well. I would add that never, ever, ever let people tell you you cannot do it. Um, I had that similar experience where it was multiple people telling me, oh, you shouldn't do it, you know, you won't make it, that type of thing, and I kept pushing, and I was able to study abroad with the help of my mother, her coworkers, my own um, coworkers, my friends, my support system here at Grand Valley. So never give up on anything that you believe that you can do. For the Benjamin A. Gilman Scholarship, I would definitely apply again. And I say that because it's a great scholarship. You are able to make connections after your alumni, after you've been awarded the scholarship. You also have that intense pressure when you're applying for the scholarship to actually get it right, to make it sound good, to bring your life story to the forefront so that way you are able to share your experiences with those people who are on the board reading your application. Um, for the scholarship and they're able to feel how you feel, to know that you are passionate about what you want to do and what you look forward to doing. So I definitely will um, recommend and also if I had the chance to reapply for that scholarship, I would definitely do that as well. Um, the other scholarship that I received, the English scholarship, I would definitely apply for that one as well. Um, through the program that I um, traveled on is the English program. So that scholarship also helped me collect the financial resources that I needed for the trip. So that one is definitely a good scholarship. And as well, working with the Panos International Center that helps students choose their study abroad program, I would definitely work with them, connect with them, see if they can offer you anything. They help with finding different scholarships. So applying for them as well again will definitely be a goal. Yes. I will do it again. I will travel, travel, travel if I have those financial resources to travel. Um, I really want to go back to Ghana where I traveled and studied abroad the first time because I felt that 28 days weren't enough. Like I had just gotten to the motion and the repetition of getting into the taxis, you know, going to by the ocean, partying with friends and making new friends um, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. It was the best experience of my life um, and I intend to travel to maybe Egypt, to maybe like the Bahamas, maybe to um, Nigeria. You know, I have a family member whose husband is married to a Nigerian man, so that would be a great experience just to go back and learn more about my roots, learn more about the culture, meet different people from different areas, and just travel and experience a different style from the U.S. and I wouldn't trade for the world.